Hi, my name is Liang Yang. I'm assistant professor at the School of Hotel and Tourism Management at the CUHK Business School. My research interests include Chinese economy and urban economics with applications to real estate and environment. Government around the world are scrambling to implement all different types of measures to prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus. One of the most and biggest controversial measures implemented around the world has been in Wuhan in China. My research which is titled Human Mobility Restrictions and the Spread of Novel Coronavirus in China, was conducted in collaboration with Professor Haming from at the University of Pennsylvania and Professor Wang Long at the Shanghai Tech University. The mandatory quarantine of the virus Epic Center reduced infections by restricting mobilities during the early stages of the outbreak. Many areas across China implemented something referred to as close management on a community basis. Villages, communities and units in most areas would only keep one entrance and exit point open, and each household is allowed a limited number of entrance and exits. In some places, nighttime access is prohibited, and in extreme cases, access is prohibited throughout the day. People entering and leaving are required to wear masks and receive temperature tests. We found this social distancing policies by restricting travel in different ways and to different degrees were effective in containing the spread of the normal coronavirus. We examined data from Baidu Migration, a travel map offered by the Chinese search engine of the same name, which tracked the real-time location of every smartphone using company's mapping app. Our research found that the lockdown on Wuhan itself cut the outflow of people from the city by 56.4% compared to if a lockdown had never been in place. The lockdown also reduced the inflow of people into the city by 76.6% and movement within the city by 54.2%. These results were then correlated with COVID-19 infections figures released by the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention, also known as China CDC. Using simulations with these estimates, that the lockdown of the city of Wuhan contributed significantly to reducing the total infection cases outside of Wuhan, even with the social distancing measures later imposed by other cities. If a lockdown had not been put in place, the 347 cities in China outside of Hubei would have recorded a total of 20,810 cases as of the end of February, compared to the actual number of 12,626. Similarly, for the 16 cities within Hubei but outside of Wuhan, cases would have reached 23,400 without the mandatory quarantine instead of the actual number, which is 15,330. The simulation also predicts that the new infections would still have peaked on their own on February 2nd in Hubei, excluding Wuhan, which is nine days after the real-world lockdown took place. The estimated new cases would gradually converge to real-world reported daily cases by February 22nd. This suggests that the social distancing measures implemented elsewhere in China would have worked eventually to contain the spread of the virus even if the city of Wuhan was not locked down. However, the initial onslaught on the medical system in all cities in China would have been much more severe and the total number of infection cases elsewhere would have been significantly higher. It appears that after implementing various control measures, cities adopting an extended lockdown can flatten the upward trajectory of the virus. The results of the study will have strong implications on other countries in their fighting against COVID-19.